Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. And today you will be joining me as I am watching through my bees. <laughs> I always love to show my bees. And uh, so we're gonna open up the hive and have a little chat. This is the smoker, if you don't know. The way the smoker works is that it, uh, <laughs> it's really funny because people think that bees just get dizzy and they like calm down because of the smoker, but actually it's really cruel. They think that it's a fire and they go inside the hive to eat the honey so that they can, they can take as much honey and before the hive burns down. So every time I come to my hives, the bees think the house is on fire. <laughs> so it's not the nicest practice that the beekeepers do, but it gets the job done. So <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, I don't know why there is a hole in the plastic. <laughs> Not really supposed to be here. But yeah, let me just open it up and then we can catch up a little bit. And yeah, this is my main tool. You can use it for anything. <laughs> Picking mushrooms, <laughs> cutting anything you need to cut. Uh. Okay, when we went to the hives, my dad would always use <laughs> to sit on the roof and I would be standing up because you get the job done much quicker when you're standing up. But now I feel like I'm old and <laughs> I just a better view for you. But uh, my, whoa, whoa, sorry, I just saw the queen bee. What? What are you doing here? Oh my God. Wow, it just came out, wow. This is really cool. It just came out of the cell, so it's like one day old bee. And I can see there is a lot of them because this hive swarmed away. And so they had to raise new queens uh, because they had no queen. And now they come out and actually what they do is they will start fighting each other, all the queens that come out and then the strongest one will survive and take over the hive. And um, this one is a little bit like disoriented right now because uh, he just got out of the cell. And I'm just seeing what other bees are doing, like are they feeding here? Because usually the worker bees are feeding the queen. Ah, this is really cool. Wow. And I definitely have a bee walking in my jacket. <laughs> One second. What the hell, bee? <laughs> Uh, that's funny. That is funny. You can hear when the bees are getting aggressive, they have this different sound that they make when they're flying. So that's when you know when you're in trouble or not. There's this one bee who is like super mean to me right now. I didn't even get started yet. <laughs> Torturing your asses. Right. Let's see what we have there. And then we'll talk. I really hope I don't get stung in my face because then the video will be over. <laughs> it's been like super, super uh, warm winter. Uh, winter. <laughs> Summer, we had this terrible heat wave and uh, Bees were really trying to swarm away and I had to go and watch them every seven days so that they don't fly away. And I, I did really good in the month of June. And then <laughs> in July, I was like, I was supposed to go on Tuesday, but I was like, you know, I think they're fine. I'll go on Friday. And I went on Friday and like all four, <laughs> all four hives had swarmed because it was like plus 30 degrees and they really wanted to go. And 
I was just stupid, but you know, you live, you learn. So now I don't have much work anymore because all the bees are gone. <laughs> this is a really sw w like small hive. It should be like three times as big right now. But it is what it is. I actually don't even think I have much to do here because I already saw that the new queens are coming out and they will just fight on their own and I don't want to I don't want to come between that. <laughs> Let the nature do their part and choose who is the new ruler of the hive. I don't think they will swarm away. Oh my god, there's this one more queen. Yeah, they will have a war. They will have a bitch war. <laughs> I really wish I could see them fight. Like, how do they actually kill each other? Because I don't think the queens can sting. So, how would you kill a bee if you can't sting? Do they just bite each other? <laughs> I need to look it up. I look it up and put it in the comments. <laughs> but you know, it's really cool. Like, the, It's been really cool working with them lately. I come here and it's, I feel like it's a, kind of like a therapy because I don't know, I just love the smell of the hive, like the smell of propolis and honey and uh, pollen. And then I love the sound that they're making when they're happy. Like right now, they're just like buzzing really happily, you know, because it's summer and it's warm and they have something to collect. And, you know, it's good times. <laughs> and I just love this uh, buzzing sound. Um, Sorry, I have to put this away. Yeah. Into the shade, it's not good to keep the bees in the sun. But yeah, it, I kind of feel like this has like been like my therapy that I just come and just hang out with my bees. And even though they're giving me a little bit of pain, <laughs> but it's been so good to me. And, um, and it's so cool when, you know, I used to do this work for like five years and it was like, really hard physical work and you know really intense and a lot of stress and stuff but now that i can do the same job but without the stress because i only have like eight hives right now it's you know it's not that much work and i can really like take my time and just like enjoy and you know talk to my bees ask them for life advice <laughs> it's really really cool and um and obviously also get some money for myself you know and my friends and um, this summer has been really kind to me, you know, the weather has been so good and and it's been like um, It's been really like healing experience for me because I've taken it easy. I have um, you know Give myself time to enjoy this island this year because I feel like I Live on such a pretty island, but all the summers are so busy because we you know always used to work so much and you know, I want to take so much photos in the nature when it's like green and uh, and I always like do too much and don't really, you know, enjoy it so much. Don't go to the beach that much. Although I'm really literally surrounded. Any, any way you go, you will make it to the beach. And one aggressive bee again. <laughs> and yeah, so this uh, summer has all been about like, you know, Working, but also taking time for myself and showing self-love <laughs> by, you know, doing the things that I really enjoy. And that has been, you know, you know, going to the beach, uh, going to swim, uh, walking in nature and, you know, not... I, I'm trying to work with this photographer's guilt that I have, that I always feel like I have to take photos when I walk somewhere and <laughs> have to capture the beautiful summer. but. You know, it's really not like that. Uh, and I've been like trying to tell myself, it's okay to see something beautiful and not take photos of it. <laughs> you know, if you know you don't have time to edit them. And if you want to just, you know, be in the moment and, uh, you know, enjoy what is in front of your eyes. Because I always say, I have two options. Either I'm going to capture it or I'm going to enjoy it. You can't do both, you know, because your mind be working and not focused on, uh, on enjoying the moment and taking it in. And so, yeah, this summer I've just been really like, you know, take it easy on yourself, do as much as you can. Um, don't overwork, but, you know, still get some stuff done and, and really enjoy the time you have uh, on this beautiful island. And, and, um, and then enjoy the time with the bees, you know, and just hang out with Jack and take him to long walks and 
it's just been really, really good summer for me, and I've been really happy. And um, and I don't know what the future will bring, but I just said to myself, you know, take this summer, you know, make it a good one, make it a good for you, one for yourself, for your health, you know, for your mind, you know, and that's. <laughs> That's pretty much what I've been doing, I guess, and that's how why I haven't made so many videos either. But uh, but yeah, I did some really good work projects as well. I had this, I have this uh, had this photo shoot for a jewelry jewelry. I say it wrong <laughs> for the for the um, arm. Oh my God, I forgot the English. <laughs> For the arm, arm, for the beautiful things you put around your arms, ha arm cuffs. No, <laughs> not arm cuffs. <laughs> ah, wow, it doesn't come to my head. But we went to this really beautiful botanical garden and made this really cool photo shoot. And I'm just super excited about the photos that we made and the model looked so gorgeous I'm like still in love with the sight that I had in front of me and then I had to look at his her her pretty face when editing for hours and <laughs> it was really cool and then I did this one project with the drone I made a video for a company to show how I transported how they did transported a little tiny house on the island and it was really cool and and uh, now that I made that video I, I got two new projects that I have to film um, Today I'm going to go and film a lavender field, which is going to be really cool and exciting because I know those people and it's just cool projects. So I'm doing work, but I'm doing it for people that I really uh, like and that are really cool. And, 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 and flying the drone is one of the, my favorite things to do on Earth, you know. So, oh, there's a butterfly came. So, you know, it's, uh, it's good work, even though, you know, editing can be a pain and take a lot, lot, lot of time, but... But yeah, so um, perhaps you should uh, look through the hive and close it up. I don't think I even have anything to do here, to be honest. Sometimes bees are like better if you just leave them alone and don't like interrupt their natural cycle because they can survive on their own um, for the most part. Yeah, it's fine. You just have to make sure that they have enough room to collect honey. And then when it's cold, that they don't have too big room so that they wouldn't be wasting too much time to heat it, too much energy to heat it. Yeah, I think they're good. If they didn't swarm, they would be bigger. I would get more honey, but it's not the, it's not the point anymore, you know. That's not the goal anymore. I'm just really happy to have you guys. Mm. Hope you have a good life on the island. But that's how summers are. They get really busy and, 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 and you think you have all the time in the world and then you don't have any time and you're just rushing from place to place and uh, you know, the bees and the, you know, honey clients and, and then I have the video projects and then I want to enjoy the summer and then all together is just uh, one beautiful mess. <laughs> I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, but yeah, just wanted to make this video and say hi. And uh, I'll try to come up with something cooler next time. And until that, take care. Thank you for watching and see ya.